Calvary greetings, brothers and sisters. This is uh, the peacemaker, Ademola Oswalele from the kingdom of Edmonton, the city of champions in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. This is a uh, second session of uh, two session uh, parts of myths and uh, myths and secrets of the kingdom. Some people know them, some people don't know them. But I'm just saying it for those who know to confirm what they know, those who don't know it, to know it now. Knowledge is power. People perish without knowledge. Without knowledge, you, have, you cannot have vision. Without vision, you are going to perish. Have the knowledge. Take it. It's free. There's no cost to it. There's no offering. There's no tithe. God knows that he's blessing us. Whether we have or we don't have, we are not bothered about those things because we are no longer have this word with you. We are not worried about things you are worried. We just look at these things as amusement, as comedy. So we're going to talk about resist or flee. When you are, as a believer, you are in a challenging situation. When do you resist? When do you flee? Praise God. It's very, very important. When do you resist? When do you flee? The Bible says, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Joseph flee, fled from, the, uh, from Potiphar's wife. Moses fled after he killed the Egyptian. He had the right to kill, but he's not supposed to kill. He killed and he had to run. Praise God. So resist or flee. When do you resist? When do you flee? Just a small revelation that God gave me today. A lot of people are confused. I'm not too sure. I've never heard it discussed before, but this is the first time I think people are bringing it together. When do you resist? When do you flee? You will find that a little trick. A little trick that is already evident to us, but we don't know about it. Praise God. So you resist the devil, but you flee the children. You flee from the children. In the physical, little children, young people, whatever. In the spiritual, young demons, young agents. You flee from them. Uh, the book of James chapter 4 verse 7 says, Therefore, submit to God. When you submit yourself to God, you have the strength to resist the devil. Because it is not you that is now resisting the devil. God that you have submitted to becomes the charge and becomes in charge and the authority over your life. Because it's the charge and authority that he will guide you on how to resist the devil. And it says, if you submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's James chapter 4, verse 7. So, if you look at, um, uh, if you check 1 Peter 5, 5, it's also there to submit to elders, to submit everything. You know, so that you will be able to function properly. Submit. Submit to higher authority. You should know where your level is. Don't pretend. Don't fake it. Don't charm. Bishop of this and overseer of that. You are on your own on the day of battle. Know those who are in authority. Not by age, not by size, not by weight, not by color, not by weight. Know those who are in authority. It might be a two-year-old kid. Submit, learn, and get guidance. Don't pretend, oh, these are little children. That's your problem. On the day of battle, you will know where you are. Or you'll be reminded by the devil. God will not remind you. The devil will remind you. <laughs> this is not a funny thing, but I just have to laugh. A lot of things you will find them very ridiculous. Because what do you want me to do? Cry? Or be with me? No. So check First Peter 5.5. 5. Also, if you look at uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15, it's, uh, it's talking about that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, we're against parties and power. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in pulling down strongholds. So when do you resist? When do you flee? When it is the principalities and power, those that we have been given authority to contend with in Ephesians 6, 12, and 2 Corinthians 10, 4, those we have been given permission by God to contend with, contend with them. And most of the time, these kind of contentions, they are in the spirit. Most of the time, they don't occur in the physical. So if you go to the street, you are throwing punches, you are biting people, scratching them, you are getting yourself naked or throwing yourself in the mud, that is not what God told you. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood. So it says, flee the children. Who are these children? Oh, 
maybe you go to somewhere, you go to a supermarket, somebody's being racist or discriminating or insulting you or being rude, whatever. Those are little children. Flee from them. Flee from them. They are tricks of the devil. Look at our, our, our brother, our uncle, Apostle Peter. When Christ told him he's going to deny him, he didn't believe Christ. He didn't believe, he said it's not possible. But look at who, who handled him. Just a little girl. A little girl said, ah, you know one of them. He denied and ran away. He ran away. He ran away. Thank God he ran away. Because if he had seen him, an old man arguing and fighting with a little girl, people would wonder, is this man okay? If you look at the story of David and Goliath, David is well renowned today, he's well known. Not for all the little, little people he conquered, but that Goliath that was terrorizing the nation of Israel. The Israelites, he knocked him down because whatever spirit is in him is against the spirit of God. Go for the giants. Go for the big ones, but go in the spirit. Go in your prayers. Go in your behavior. Go in your love. That's how you do it. Go in your giving. Don't give to them. Give to the little guys. The nothing down. Because those are the little ones that can, that can defeat you. Those big ones cannot defeat you. They know the spirit of God in you. Even look at Christ when he was um, crucified. Say, Father, forgive them. For they do not know what they are doing. And what happened after they crucified him? He defeated their Lord, Lucifer. I saw his dead, but he is still dead today. He will never rise up. Only his spirit is wandering around, confusing people. That's just his spirit. Very easy to resist his spirit. You give him the word of God. You give him the word of God. Give it to him. Give it to him. The privacy of yours. Even your heart. Recite the word. The right or trance will come. Just like a spring of living water. Give it to the enemy. Don't go out and be shouting. Once you just bring out something, a statement. You know, put it there. Put the facts. The facts will always defend itself. They don't go into altercations, threatening, fighting. Those are the tricks of the devil. They will send their children. You know, maybe a taxi driver might just insult you, or somebody might just step on you, or somebody might splash water on your beautiful, nicely uh, clothes you are wearing for the first time. You're going to lose your mind and start using swear words and F words and all kinds of things. No. Flee from the little children. Somebody provoke you on the street, I'm going to deal with you. Oh, you say you cannot do it, I'm going to be there, I go to the gym, I have muscles. What are you going to do with the muscles? To beat somebody and kill somebody? Whether you are right or wrong, when you kill somebody, you have killed somebody. Even if the court acquits you, God does not acquit you for that. You have to come in with him with serious pains and begging and pleading before he can forgive you. Praise God. Because the heart with which you can kill somebody, it's very hard for the heart to repent. Very hard is the inner core, inner core of Lucifer. Spirit doing that in you. Devil cannot repent. Even if he wants, I don't think he has any chance. He's, he doesn't have that chance. He's already condemned to hell. Just a matter of time. Praise God. So that is it. Flee the little children. Resist the devil. Nakuraba kose kekeri baba. Narakoshe kekeri mama. Kosara koshe kekeri baba. Kasakaraba koshi karama. Nurakusha karaba koshe kekeri ya. Narakuri baba baba baba. Kosakuri baba. Kase kekeisha. Narakushi karaba. Nakakushi karaba. Praise the Lord. Resist the devil. Flee the children. Oh, your children are harassing. You want to show you are their father. You start spanking them and hitting them and beating them up. Or some woman confronts you on the street. You start fighting and exchanging dirty words with her. Or your husband is talking to you as baby. You start fighting and narrating him and gossiping him all over the town. Which points are you going to score there? It just makes you a fool. Anybody who's fighting with the little children is a fool. Run from them. Give them some distance. Whatever is possessing them, let them go and do it elsewhere. Don't let it be connected to you. If you love them so much, go in your closet and pray for them. If you can, show them love. If you don't have opportunity to show them love, find something else to do with your time. Praise God. You can sleep with it if you don't have nothing to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. May God bless you. May God keep you.